excited. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the Comedy Store Podcast. Thanks for having me. Josh Potter. I'm How's very excited to have you. Yeah, for sure. Well, this is the, uh, you know, you're a new paid regular. I am. Well, it's I mean, it's been a while now, right? February. Oh, so shit, it's only okay. been a few months. Okay. It's, it's 2024, so pretty yeah. new. And In then, my brain, you've always been. This a paid is my regular. name's night coming up. It is, right? Yes, exactly. It's when? In, it's Ju- next week? It's next week, July 20th. The, wow, they even changed. Or whenever July 20th is in relation to this coming out. No, yeah, we will miss that. But when it started, they were doing it on Mitzi's birthday. Which is what, the 25th, right? Yes. I think because it was not a Saturday. I feel like oh, last year's was weekend. okay because it was on the week. I feel like last year's was on her birthday, but I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's how they were trying to do it, yeah. if I remember correctly, which I kind of like because I didn't, I didn't get passed until uh 2010 mm. and they hadn't put names on the wall like uh, for a minute i even forgot who put the names on the wall right because i was working the day-to-day stuff and i used to call them but we hadn't done it for almost 10 years that's crazy i heard that story like kirk fox was the reason it came back Is i that think true? so i think it was kirk that was just offered to pay or yeah something, he was gonna or, like pay for the names because to get we had on? nothing we it was like the you know, the club was, we call it the dead years, Rick yeah. and I, but um, the club was just declining. I think it was just Mitzi's health declining. And then the club was following suit. Sure. Like, our mommy's not doing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just, no, it wasn't getting the nurture that it needed. And, you know, just dumb shit. So she didn't have the money coming right. in. Right. And I think that's why that she didn't do it. I, I could assume, or she bounced a check to him. Either way, <laughs> either way, it was to the painter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Freeman. Rick, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Rick Freeman. I think it was. I think that's his name. They put his name on the wall. Oh, okay. Um, it's got like two little paint brushes next oh, to it because okay. I, did, I think I do this, know where that is. Yeah, it's got the little um whatever the hell that's called, the little painters like they hold the little globs of paint on it. What the hell what, is that? Come on. What is that? Come on. What's it's that not called? An easel. Not an easel. Uh. A uh, palette? Is it a palette? I think it is a palette. I'm I'm pretty sure it is a palette. Fuck! I watched that Bob Ross documentary. Yeah, it's the thing you hold times. with your like thumb, like it's a yeah, like you're yeah. a waiter, and then it's got all the globs of paint. It's the thing. It's the emoji, <laughs> the emoji for art. Yes, the uh, the art emoji. <laughs> um, it is what is it called? Slab. Uh, oh, what's okay. The thing that holds the paint. It's called a palette. All right. It is a palette. Look at that. Josh. Pull that one out of my freaking ass. So, Josh Potter, are mm-hmm. you now? Are you? How would you? Was this your first showcase? Uh, second one, actually. Only second. Only well, twice. I got. Uh, I showcased in November, and then she asked me to do it again in February. Okay. And then she passed me like pretty much right after that second showcase. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And prior to that, you had never. Never before the first one, no. Yeah, because you came out here from Buffalo. Yes. How long ago? Uh, I moved here at the end of 2017, September 5th, 2017. Oh, actually, okay. Now that I recall. That's yeah, right. so I moved here then. And then, you know, COVID happened. <laughs> I was just going to say that. The exodus happened. And then, you know, coming out of COVID, I started doing developmental spots more. I remember it was mm-hmm. like weird. I didn't realize was I was- Was that with Emily or yes, Adam? Yes, with or, Emily. Okay. I didn't realize I was in developmental spots until Hilarious. she said to me, Emily goes, how come you don't call in for avails? And I was like, uh, I'm allowed to do that? Yeah. I didn't, <laughs> and I'm like, where do I call them in or whatever? Yeah. So then I figured it out and then got it rolling, you know? It was about a year and a half, probably two years. Doing that? Yeah. So yeah, so that's not that's pretty quick. I mean, sure. it sucks with the COVID, obviously. Right. But as it far happened as after like, COVID, so I mean, before COVID, it was like probably a very big log jam. I don't know. I know where I am with like. It's funny because like I didn't really know Adam when mm-hmm. he was here, mm-hmm. and uh, then we like became friends or knew each other like during COVID. I guess. Yeah. I think I hung out with him first at Skankfest in Houston. Oh yeah. And then. Um, oh yeah. I got passed at the mothership before I got passed here, so <laughs> I thought that was. Kind of ironic. That is very funny. (laughs) Uh, But the Houston Skank Fest. Yes. I I remember, which I love Skank Fest. You were there. Houston one, yeah. And um, we're walking around and Adam and I were walking around. Adam is the old booker here at the World Famous Comedy Store, Adam Egget. And so we were walking around and people were like, Adam, can I get a picture? Adam. (laughs) That's so funny. Yeah, he was on Norm's pod. so fucking funny. But I forgot. Like, Yeah, I forget that people know who he is from that. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he was like Norm's sidekick. (laughs) Right. right, Yeah. But when I moved here, he was like, 
I couldn't get near him. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I was. I mean, he's fucking smothered. Yeah, that's what he was. Of course, fucking smothered. Yeah, and I never. I mean, I hung out here a lot. This is where I always wanted to be. Yeah, but it was hard during before COVID. It was like. You know, it was a lot of, I mean, I'd come here and see Tom or whatever, Tom Segura, because mm-hmm. I, he was like the only guy I knew. The first time I ever performed here, I just, it was like a week of living here and Tom was doing Skylar Stone's show in the main room. Oh, okay. Comedy yeah. Rocks or whatever. It was just like an yeah. independent showcase. And uh, he's like, yeah, come hang out. And I was like texting him outside. I'm like, I think it's sold out, man. I can't buy a ticket. He's like, what are you buying a ticket for? And then he... <laughs> Brought me into the green room in the main room. He's like, you've never been back here. I'm like, no, when would I have come back here? Right, right, You know right, what I right. mean? So I'm standing, I'm just hanging out back there with him. And Skylar Stone's like freaking out because like, like Jamie Kennedy and Steve-O were like not coming or something. And that they were supposed to be on the bill. And he was like, in front of me, he goes to Tom, can he do 10 minutes? <laughs> and Tom's like, he, like. He's like, he can't see, but yeah, he can yeah, hear. Yeah. He Tom's can like, hear uh, he opens for me in theaters. I think he can yeah. do 10 minutes. So like he goes go do like 10 to 12 and i was like okay and then right before i went on stage he goes just go till you see the light and that was like scary. what's the light yeah i go At i don't know point, hey i don't it, know where the light is yeah. first of all second of all i'm like they're not gonna make me be up here past like 15 minutes no doubt da- there's no chance so i just go out do like my best 15 then i'm like well i don't the see lights the light not- yeah so then, now i'm just like pulling oh, out no. swords from my sheath you yeah. know just trying to do a new joke and another joke <laughs> And then I'm like up there. I feel like forever. I finally see like what I assume is the light. Was and it I, the bow or was it the Yeah, it was red. the like red one, you know. Okay. And uh, The red I, one's easier to see. Yeah. The, the bow on. Uh, What's the bow one? I don't even know that. So uh, Fanny Bryce in the back mm. has a bow in her hair. Oh. And it's it's the illuminated light. And the bow Fanny goes Bryce. on? Yeah. And so just the bow would light up and that was the. Oh, I didn't know that. The light. Yeah. yeah, no, I, but so they the, changed it because people were like, I didn't I know I had it. the light. Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. like, the fucking bow's on. They're like, oh. <laughs> but literally the whole back of the main room by like the men's room and the ladies' room would light up. Oh, okay. Like I would be excited because if I was waiting tables, I'm like, oh, I can actually collect money you can and see, see shit yeah, yeah. right now. <laughs> so I would always wait until the comic was lit and be like, oh, can I get the money? But yeah, no, I got done and I looked at my recording thing and I was like, I did I did 25 minutes. <laughs> Which was crazy to me. I mean, I had just got and here. I'm like, packed, right? It's oh, it was packed, and it was like I was, was my adrenaline. 10? It was fine, but it was like kind of you know clunky or whatever. But no matter, like afterwards, I'm like, I just did almost a half hour in the yeah. main room. That's crazy <laughs> to me. I like walked out of there going like, I just moved here and I did this. That's insane. That's so great. Yeah, it was People awesome. People were probably like, who the fuck is this guy? Exactly. I mean, Hello? it was forever too. I was up there. way longer than everybody else. He was like waiting for someone else to show up and nobody Because he didn't want to put Tom up so early. Right. Is that why? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, because you blow your load. Yeah. So or maybe Tom had already gone up and it was late. I, I really don't remember the circumstances circumstance that's funny of that but i think it might have been even after they might have put out like front loaded it and then i was just like winding out the whole show i might have like finished the show and then they put right. up like a door guy i think they put up luke schwartz or somebody after okay okay so i think they was like into the door guy stuff after that <laughs> so funny yeah but he's just like even still if it's later in the show it's even kind of harder yeah like opening doing 25 you're still there's like, definitely okay. a check drop in there somewhere like sure. you know it was it wasn't easy but it was like plus they're like unbelievable. where the fuck did this guy come from who is he <laughs> yeah, yeah no one's ever seen him yeah yeah it was it was wild <laughs> how long can, did you meet tom in buffalo yeah i worked i've been working with him since 2013 and the first time i worked with him i won a contest for helium like they do like every club helium yeah. club is like the funniest some so and so funniest person like buffalo or philly or whatever and the no. first year that it was in buffalo because they just opened the club in 20 end of 2012 like christmas week of 2012 so 2013 that summer i won the contest and they upped me from mc to middle and the first middle weekend i got was tom wow yeah so then and then and so he was like and then after great. that he just brought me he's like you want to come open for me in orlando and i'd never at that point flown literally to, to do a gig i was i'd flown but not oh, okay. to do comedy i'm saying i used to do God, I, I was it. like uh driving everywhere and um this was like beyond driving obviously yeah. orlando from buffalo so i had to borrow like 300 bucks from my mom to buy <laughs> oh. the plane ticket and then like i paid her back with the 500 dollars they paid me or whatever and it was before tom was like you know ripping off like 
huge bags every weekend. This was like, right, right, right. you know, he, he was, was probably making like twelve hundred dollars or something. No, you know right, what I mean? Right, yeah, right. like for the week because it was probably half papered or whatever. But mm -hmm. it was like back then. I remember it was normal for middles to like pay their own way. Sure. Uh, and then you break know, the, even, kind of. Right, right. Just to get the work. And so I remember like that happened. And then, like, within, I don't know, I did like maybe six other gigs with him. And then I remember like six months later, he was like, by the way, you don't have to pay for your travel anymore. And then I was like, oh, Tom is like killing it because he started selling <sighs> things out and shit. So then he was like, I got your travel now. And then the gigs yeah. got bigger and bigger. He was like the first special on Netflix. Yeah, correct? and this was the yeah. first time I worked with him was right before that debuted. And he wow. was like kind of like meh about it. He was like Netflix, the fucking DVDs. That, right. <laughs> like he was like shitting. They're He's like shit. Comedy Central passed on it, HBO passed on it. So he was like pissed. He's like, I got fucking Netflix. And it like, oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It like changed like, his life. Uh, right. Hello. Yeah, it was like the best yeah. thing that ever happened. So now he's like a <laughs> co founder yeah. of Netflix. Um, so how long had you been doing stand-up in Buffalo before you got into uh, I started in 2008, technically 2007, but I don't really count that first uh, couple tries. But Hilarious. 2008 is when I started taking it. Like, I went to Europe, mm -hmm. did all kinds of drugs, and I was like, I, like I don't this. know what it was. I just kind of saw the path, and I was like, oh, I have to do this, like, every day if I can. Yeah. And I have to just, like, really be serious about it to, like, progress. And then I came home, and I just had, like, a wild hair up my ass or something in, and it in europe it. were you just vacationing yeah yeah i was just there with my, wow. my cousins doing drugs the whole time <sighs> yeah it was just like an epiphany <laughs> was, hilarious yeah. like you're like i have to borrow 300 dollars to go to orlando but yeah, i'm yeah, gonna yeah. go abroad and well that was drugs. way before that was before that but like you know i saved up for that trip that was like a kind of a post-college got it got it sort of thing yeah. and then I, um, to me, you have to be like super right. wealthy to go to Europe. Like I'm like, no, oh. it was like eleven $1 hundred dollars. Oh I think, my for God. the whole thing. <laughs> like now that I can look up things, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? They yeah, lied yeah, yeah. to us. I mean, I did it on the cheap, but yeah, it was it was so much fun. And we just, you know, like I said, I came home and I just kind of like became obsessed. Yeah, you know, and I and there wasn't Good. a lot in Buffalo. It was like at first there was only one show a week. Yeah, every Tuesday at a bar. And um, it was called Nietzsche's. And it used to be like a real show. Like people would come to it. Yeah. It was like maybe 100 people at every show or something. And wow, that's I wouldn't get well, up. There's nothing else to do. Yeah, I Buffalo. mean, sure, I guess. I get it. But yeah, it was like a real. Need a wing and then what? <laughs> yeah. That's it. But it was fucking, it was like my Tonight Show. I mean, getting on that lineup, even though it was an open mic at first, it stopped being, it started being a showcase because. Well, so many people were coming you got to an it. audience. Yeah, and there was not enough spots for all the all yeah. the comics in Buffalo. There was like twelve of us, but like um, some weeks I wouldn't get up. And then the the woman who was running it started like a like another mic somewhere else in mm -hmm. the shitty part of town, like in the Black Rock district. That was like very scary. But she was like, "You got to go there if you want to get up here." So I started going there, and got now it. I had two all of a sudden. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then with the popularity of it. In Buffalo, there was all of a sudden there was like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can get on stage. Wow. And then the club came and added another night. So it was like, and then there's weekend shows and everything else. So like things kind of as I started progressed into like becoming it so that I could do comedy every day. Yeah. In Buffalo, which was crazy. Yeah. And, then and maybe Jimmy, it's one set a night, but. And what year did the famous Jimmy Pidd? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, like, that would have been probably. This is a, a comedy store character that moved to Buffalo. Yes. We, we adored. Yes, Tortured, no, I, but adored. I mean, he came into town, <laughs> and I remember the woman who ran that mic, the Nietzsche's one, who we kind of looked to as, like, a beacon of, like, right. a guide into how to do this. <laughs> She was like, oh, Jimmy Pidd's moving here. He's a comedy store door guy. And we were all like, <laughs> what? Oh, my God. This is going to, this guy must this be awesome. Famous. Yeah, he obviously. must be famous and amazing comic and stuff. And he I came mean, if in he's and he was gracing Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Originally from Chicago, you yeah. know. Uh, <laughs> and he's going to grace Buffalo. That's oh my incredible. God. It was so wild. Jimmy Pitt's, the, he was the what man. What a great though. character. Yeah, he was the man. He was like, I don't know. He was just wild. He, uh, is, is there a Jimmy Pidd could come up? No. Yes, there's got to be. It's got to happen. Is it TT or D? D. D. Hey, man. Don't get it wrong. Oh, get yeah. It. <gasps> Bum Clown Comic Productions. Production. That's his own production. Oh, I oh there's seen, Jimmy. I was that's like, on that's the, on the top left is the Jimmy I remember. Yes. Then there's that one in the center, that LinkedIn one that I don't know. I don't know who that is. That, I mean, that might be just him now, right? That's Ahmed. 
That's oh. how Meta met. In this that picture? Looks, the nose looks the same. No. It could just be old Jimmy That's literally a Meta met. That right there is a Meta met. That is? Okay. In the middle with the red. Oh, okay. I thought that was him old. And then that person it says I don't... Jimmy Pitt. Isn't that funny? Median. Well, that's not who that is. He's right... Th- what about right there? This? No. That's, that's not I him don't either. know who that that's is. has got to be him. Bum clown. That's clown. down there. That's I know. Jimmy. I mean, that's these are old pictures. That's though. Jimmy right there. Yes. At these the are the comedy store or the is that the belly room or the OR? These are all that one above it is a bar in Chictawaga, New this York. It looks like La Jolla, actually. Oh, maybe La Jolla. No, yeah, yeah. I, the, probably the Nietzsche's walls. or something. No, that's the comedy store for sure. That's 2009. I don't know. Mm hmm. When did he move there? I forget. But this guy was so fucking Zanies, funny. If you go up to the green, the one above that one, that one, that's a bar in Chictawaga, New York. Yeah, that, I believe. Yes, that, for sure. Um, But he uh, literally was like, what's his name? Jeff Garland stole his titty fucking bit, he said. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) I don't think you can Oh my God, the titty fucking bit. Titty fucking? I forgot about that one. It's so good. When I would host in the OR for uh, open mic, Mm. I'd bring Jimmy up, of course, give him a big, great intro and everything. And then he'd come up and he'd be like, I I don't titty fuck her. She ain't got no titties. (laughs) (laughs) That was his big... That was was his closer, wasn't it? Or was it his opener? (laughs) Well, some. I mean, we, I just remember they the were bus. doing three to seven minutes, you know. Yeah, of course. I remember and, his bus joke. Uh, it's an aquarium for people, and then they would just go. <laughs> his Frogger joke. Fish. Yeah. Oh, the Frogger. Frogger. God, why do I remember more Jimmy Pidd jokes than my own? Because it's so great. <laughs> That's it's, so wild. He, yeah. was, he was doing a podcast there. Yeah, the Pidcast. The Pidcast. He was doing it out of his apartment in the Lennox Hotel, which I'm was sorry. a beautiful. I mean, like. I look back and I remember being like, so, "What's the Lennox Hotel?" It, it was uh, that's where he lived. He lived, yeah. It's an apartment wow. slash hotel, and they oh, had the oh, best I... brunch in in Buffalo mm-hmm. in their like basement where he actually ran a show late night. And there was like, I, the, I remember like being, ju- I'm like, Jimmy Pitt has the coolest apartment, <sighs> and it's probably like looking back, it was probably such a shithole. But I was like in my twenties, <laughs> so I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I I used to take girls to the brunch there all the time. Because it was cheap and like they yeah. had unlimited mimosas and everything else. And Pid would come down on a wife beater. So there's always a show. There's a show. But he would put on a show in that place that they had brunch like at nighttime. And there was like a fucking fish behind us. Like a mounted Gor- fish. Like oh, a giant so mounted fish. Funny. And I remember Ren Azizi and Ari came <laughs> yeah, to do yeah, yeah, Pid's yeah. show. After like doing a show at Helium, they came like because it was super late, and they yeah. just came and did that, and they just ripped on the fish, and then ripped on Jimmy Pid the whole time in front of like six people. It was oh awesome. yeah, just torment Pid, anything to torment. Yeah, I right. loved. Him. I thought he was hilarious, but um, yeah, I, I when he moved, yeah, it was a nice was, guy, nice guy, but also just like crazy, like a little comedy. He was one crazy. of those guys that was like a character for yeah. sure. Like he's like a character, like. Everything off stage is going to be funnier than anything he does on stage. Yeah, that's fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he would literally like, I mean, just work in the phones, anything. You walk in, but like, what are you doing? And he's like, hey, man, this is how I do it. You know, <laughs> where to weed at? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so fucking, so him. So, you know, it just, it, he was like a breath of fresh air. Right. It was just such, but we had so many characters like that. Of you course. know, the pig characters. And they were great, but then they always wind up leaving us. Right. So, so I wonder if you type in my name with his name if any pictures come up. Well, that would together. be so hot. Let's Jimmy see. Pidd and Josh Potter. That yeah, could be let's a. See. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to spell his name right. Oh, yeah. 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 I wonder if we have, because there was like show flyers we were on or something. I don't know. Maybe that's, oh, that's maybe I'm funny. Wrong. Yeah. 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 Oh, because they would be on the internet like. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. But it was kind of before all. Like, I look back on when it I started comedy, there was no clips. There was like barely no. show flyers. I don't even remember how we promoted things. I think like Facebook Word and of stuff mouth? or like just posters on the on like the venue wall or Emails, something. Emails maybe? Nah, I mean, I didn't really give a sh- I just kind of like showed up to shows. I was mm-hmm. never putting on shows. Smart. So I would just be the guy on the show. And I used to be on the radio, so I could promote shows through that. You did Sometimes, radio in Buffalo? Oh, yeah. That's how that's, oh, I thought that's that was going to be like my job. I started doing that well before I started doing comedy. But um, did you like that? I loved it. But it was, it kind of ground me into dust because it was not a lot of pay. It was like, po- right. in, like poverty pay. And um, 
it was a lot of hours. So, and I was waking up at like 4 a.m. every day, doing the morning show, staying till like one, and then doing comedy at night, mm -hmm. which was like. Did you meet a lot of comics? Like, were you the channel? I met channel? all kinds of comics. I was like. Were you the channel they brought comics into to promote yes. their show? Oh, I met wow, everybody that great. way. It was yeah. like, I've got pictures with Geraldo. With oh, like, wow. I mean, I, I, it was like everybody. And I always kind of like shied away from it because I wanted them to meet me like on a level of comic to like I met Louis CK and I, did, I refused to take a picture with him because <laughs> I was like no I want to meet him, him as much. a comedian someday yeah and I still haven't but <laughs> <laughs> I mean after I moved it's here and like Louis, my career yeah. progressed he kind of like went away for a couple years and then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he's back but um so I did find a Facebook post from March 19th oh, 2013 that's great. it reads rain snow hail or zombie apocalypse we'll still have our open mic on Wednesday oh yeah was that the open, open mic, mic night on <laughs> Wednesdays at 8 p.m covers Five dollars. Who is performing? Drew oh Kennedy. my god, I remember all these names. Alejandro, Drew Canada. Yeah, he was cool. Pookie None of these people I wonder do what Pookie's anymore. doing now. Pookie Long Johns. Pookie Long Johns. I mean, I'm trying to see if there's anybody in there. <laughs> what a that's great still name for comedy. a cold environment. Golly, Long Johns. That is a list. I know all those. I remember all these people except for a couple of them, but also none of them do comedy anymore. That's great. Well, Jimmy Pitt. How well, dare. yeah, Jimmy Pitt. That's true. I forgot. There's a guy just named Jackal. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I remember him. I know. I went. I did the Niagara Falls gig. Sen yes, that's Sen right. Seneca. Is yes, that right? the Seneca Niagara Casino. And um, yeah. Yeah, the Bears Den. Interesting. Did you go outside? I did. E yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I like walked over, and I, I go, "Oh my God, Josh is right." And then it's like crazy because you go, like, I walk to Niagara Falls, and it's like. Not great area if you go like one way, and yeah. then if you just go straight from the hotel to the to the falls, you're the kind falls, of okay. You're in that park. Yeah, you're kind of walking up these streets that are obviously catering to tourism. Right, they've got cameras. <laughs> you're right, <laughs> and but if you go outside of that street, oh, you're yeah. you're in a fucking war zone, right. basically. So it of course, like I'm Ukraine. like, let me go in here because <laughs> I need to see this war zone. What's going on? <laughs> and then I go back to the street. And I'm just walking. I'm like, oh, my God, it's so nice. Every walk of life. Then you get close to the Niagara Falls, which I've never been. Right. And I'm looking and I'm like, what the fuck are the red and blue coats? The red coats were Canada and the oh. blue coats were America. You're talking about the mist, the maid of the mist. Well, they go down into the boat. Oh, the caves. So yeah, they yeah. give them ponchos. Right, the maid of the mist. Yeah. So the, the blues are American and then... The red are Canadian. I didn't know the Canadians had their own made of the mist. Well, there was the other side. That's yeah, I Canada. guess that's true. I didn't realize that they did their own uh, from but that side. Did you go on the other side then? I did not. And, and I'm mad because I had ordered room service later that day. And um, the, the girl was like, oh, it was so hard to get in from Canada. Went, oh, my God, you came in from Canada? And, of course, I'm like, Oh, you just I got DoorDash because it's right over no, there? No, no, not DoorDash. Or, she was working at the hotel. Oh, I got my room bad. service. So she came up with the cart, and we were talking. And the night before, we had gotten it in uh, Dice's room. Oh, okay. So I go, oh, you're the young lady from last night. You know, we were in that. And she goes, yeah, yeah. She, and then she goes, it was so hard to get here from Canada. Canada that I literally had to park on the right before the bridge and just walk over. Wow. Because the traffic was so bad. And I was like, wait, you live in Canada? I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that either. But you can, I know you can walk over the, because one time for. I brought my passport and everything because I wanted to go yeah, and I couldn't walked. figure it out. Yeah, you could have walked over the out. Rainbow Bridge. I, um, there was a scandal. That's it, the Rainbow yes. Bridge. I saw that. There was a scandal um, at the Rainbow Bridge. There was like a uh, Asian woman who. Like one of the uh, TSA agents beat the shit out of. Okay. And so uh, for the radio, <laughs> for the radio, I wore like a kimono and walked <laughs> over the border to see if they'd say anything. And I thought in my infinite wisdom of radio stunts, <laughs> I thought I could walk halfway across the bridge and just walk back because I didn't technically cross the border. So I didn't think I'd have to run into any agents. I'm like, I'm just doing my little stunt out here. Right. And um, I changed into the kimono in my car and I left my jeans with my wallet in my car. <gasps> so when I came back, the gate was like, G -g -g. I'm like, uh, so I had to go inside and that's where they do the customs. I had technically left America, even though I was in limbo and didn't enter Canada. Oh my God. I left America. So I had to come back in and go to America TSA. 
and I'm in a kimono and I have no ID and they did not enjoy my Wait, I hope humor. you were filming all this. There was never... That's the thing about radio stunts in the early 2000s. They were all on the radio. There was no cameras. Oh. It was so dumb. It was so like... You were just on your cell phone? Oh, my like God. So in. you're just like, uh, I'm not... I'm not... I'm just talking to somebody Well, no, on then the I phone. told them, I'm like, I'm on the radio, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but then... Uh, and they especially didn't like that. And they held yeah, yeah. me in a cell for like an hour and a half before they like let me go. They're like, your ID's in your That's car. And so I go, yes. Yeah. So then they, a guard went to the, or like an agent or whatever, went to my car, got my stuff, came back and like interrogated me more about like, what am I doing here? Where do I work? And my work's on the phone with them. What's with like, the kimono? like, sit tight. Yeah, they knew I was fucking with them because of the whole Asian lady thing. So <laughs> yeah, that was a nightmare, but. And also not worth it at all. Like if all the shit that I did on the radio was on YouTube, I'd be Mr. Beast right now. Right, but right, it was all right, on the right. fucking radio and we never thought to film it because there was no YouTube then. There was nothing. It was like YouTube yeah, was like, like 2007. You, say you had a camera and you just decided to film it. Where would you put it? Exactly. You can't put it on our oh. HTML shitty website. It couldn't host video and stuff like that. That's so, so funny. Yeah, I was like. How long did you work for the radio? Uh, from, well, about 15, 16 years, probably. I once you got kicked out of Canada, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was early. <laughs> I am banned from Canada, but that wasn't the reason that I goes banned. That was early. Period? Oh, everywhere? Like, for yeah, reals? Yeah. Why? I got a DUI. Oh. So, but it should be done, but I don't know if it is or not, and I haven't tested to mm -hmm. see if I'm allowed back in or not. Yeah. But uh, sometimes it's for life. I don't think don't mine is, but... I thought it was 10 years when I got it, but yeah. now I think it's life. So I don't know if mine carried over or if like what the deal is. So a DUI. Any done. alcohol related arrest in, in the United States I get makes that. you an undesirable in Canada. I understand that. Okay. I know people that have DUIs that can't go. Right. But I didn't know you drove. I thought I your did eyesight I prevented you. I'm not trying to be rude, but. No, no, no. I, I, uh, I'm actually still legally, technically allowed to drive really? i just made the decision when i moved here because i was like poor i didn't want to bring a car i thought if i just like take car off my plate mm -hmm. it would help me save money which it did and i thought la is way more public transit than buffalo which it does but it's still not ideal obviously no it's terrible so i kind of just made it so i would and then you know now it's been i think the last time i drove a car was 2018 so and you're, but can I ask you about your eyesight? Yeah, like, for sure. is it a, uh, like what? It's just one bad eye? Or I mean, two bad they're eyes? both bad, but like okay. I can't see out of my right eye at all. Is it degenerate? Mac? It I is a, yes, it is macular degeneration. Thank you. Yes, it is that. And um, I don't get things right. As of now, my eyes have been like stabled out or whatever because like it's kind of stopped degenerating because I had so multiple surgeries. So it gets to surgeries. a point. Yeah, yeah. So the surgeries kind of prevent, like slowed it down at the very least or kind of to a halt for the time being. But um, like my eye doctor's like, I'll never strip your independence away unless you like, you know, it gets based. So he's like always been writing me notes to re-up my yeah. license. Okay. But now I've let my license lapse so long and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have any idea if I can get it back or how But if you got back. a Tesla, it drives for you. That'd be cool. That's exciting. Yes. Um, be did you ever get the packing in your eye? You know what I'm talking about? Where they put it and they pack it and try to... Redo it. My friend had that surgery. I don't it was think so. Brutal. No, I had um two. I have on each eye a, a scleral buckle, which okay. is like a suture around it. And I have had, you know, all the other things like they test the pressure. I've, they've poked and prodded my eyes so much that it's like. Yeah. You know. My ex had a, a transplant. That's crazy. Cornea transplant? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My corneas are fine. They're tip top shape. Yeah. It's the retinas that are. Destroyed. Yep. I get it. It sucks. I, but yeah. I, I just, I'm thinking of you driving and drinking. Now that's Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is uh, <laughs> 2009 I got yeah. my DUI. So I was in all right shape. I had, oh no, I had one eye then. I lost <laughs> my uh, my right eye in 2006. So I was I don't like, mean to laugh, but you're like, I had yeah. one eye. So I had five, dri five drinking years. Drinking is fine. I had about five years of driving with two eyes. And then <laughs> I got the one eye and I just kind of like, no one said that you're not supposed to drive or something like that. You know what right. I mean? Like, I didn't have any difficulties, so. That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> it's just, what got you into comedy? Like, you're doing radio. Were yeah, you I in mean, comedy in the beginning, or were you just like? I mean, I was always into it, obviously, and, like, my whole goal on the radio was to be, like, 
Artie Lang or like Jim Norton or like oh, one wow. of the like third yeah, yeah, guys yeah, yeah, yeah. on the on the radio. And I knew like, you know, I I saw a lot of the guys that were doing like producer jobs on the radio were writing bits and like doing characters and stuff. So I thought that was going to be like my path. Oh, yeah. And it was. I mean, I got to do it pretty early. Like I was like 15 or 16. And I remember being like listening to my local show, Trent Reagan. And there were two guys on there, Ryan and Jim. And I want, I was like, I want to be like those guys. Right. And I literally was one of them within a year of that. Like oh, wow. by the time, when I was 16, they hired me. Yeah. And I was in high Competition school on the radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I just started doing stunts, yeah. which I thought was like the epitome of comedy then too. I was like, you know, fucking you're, you're again, right. a teenager. And I was like, <laughs> jackass is the top of the line. Right, right. And I'm just going to do jackass stuff again on the radio for no mm -hmm. one to see. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, you saw it, but <laughs> yeah, like it was in the studio. People are describing it or whatever. Yeah, but oh, that's funny. there was one time I got shot with a a policeman shot me with a taser on the air, and the audio is fantastic. But the guy, we actually <laughs> did video that, and the guy videoing it fucked it up. No. Yes. You got shot. He missed it. Like he just, how did he fuck he, it like, up? I did, forgot to hit record. No. <laughs> Something like that. One of those like re hearted things that, oh like, people no do. oh my god that's yeah. so fun you're like finally i was have a so camera. mad yeah we had a camera you're finally like, dude i'm as you're going down you're like is that red light we would have put that on you YouTube. were shot oh my god that would be i'd have like six million hits on that thing yeah it's easily. crazy i wonder if like you can hear the audio anywhere still i know i have it like on my computer but if you type it into just write josh potter taser and see what comes up josh Trend potter Reagan. taser Let's see. I so never what did you looked. do to get tased? Can I, I mean, ask? nothing. It was like, um, it was, that might just be me playing the audio there. Oh, that's funny. Um, um, in the shorts here? Yeah. Or what? Uh, yeah, I don't know if this was it or not. No, this is just a different thing. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, this is a different taser video. If you go back and there was a trending Buffalo article there, I wonder if that. Um, Josh Potter. <laughs> Joy being hit with a tea. Look at you. Oh, there's me at the Cleveland Whoa. Comedy Festival in 2011 in that picture. That's great. Let, let me just do a little bit. Of, uh, that might not be it. Uh, hit the hit the hyperlink that says hit with a taser there. See the thing right there? That's so funny. Oh, Feel that's weird. Why would they show this? That's not it at all. What is this? I don't know. I don't know why I would link it to that. This is dumb. I don't know what this Secret is. Secret society. This guy. Don't tase me, bro. That's the don't tase me, bro guy. Oh, That's why. Yes. Oh, uh, I see. So, yeah, I mean, I think that was the the impetus of me this, getting a shot. This might be it. Is that, how long is that audio? That just might be. It. Zero. And it's gone. Yeah, it might have, that might have been a podcast. Like I was doing like an interview or something, but. That's so funny. But, yeah, but wait, what did hair. you do to get tased? Oh, no, I didn't do any, like we had the cops come into the studio and the cop was like oh they volunteered we thought we were all gonna get tased like we thought it was like a you know like one of those and then he goes well yeah i could give you all a little taste of it or i can shoot one of you in the back with the prongs and everything and ride the the whole thing the five minutes of lightning and he sees this guy well no like, i mean so yeah. we kind of like all looked at each other and i wasn't really on the air much at that point, this is again like I was 16, 17 years old at this time. Okay. And I was kind of like just an intern. I was doing production uh, stuff. And me and the other producer, the other producer's like, what do you think? And I was like, yeah, I'll definitely, like I volunteered. I was like, yes, I want this. Cause I knew I'd get on the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the cop like had me in there and they lined me up and they, two cops held my arms and the other one stood back a couple feet and then shot the prongs Hilarious. into my back and I screamed, but I didn't swear. And for five seconds, I'm just like, ugh, 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 ugh. like it was crazy. Oh, yeah. And um, afterwards I was like, I can't believe I didn't swear. And they're like, you're a pro. <laughs> they were like really like <laughs> proud of me that I didn't swear yeah, I, because they would have had to jump out of the whole thing. Yeah. You can't put it on the radio. Plus, by the way, is there really nothing to do in Buffalo that the cops are coming to the studio for a prank? Yeah, I mean, I it mean, was like, it was too... I've uh, seen the war zone. They have shit to do. I think they were <laughs> like the promoting fuck? the fact that they now have tasers. <laughs> like no. They were like excited. This one oh my God, police that's department. so funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. I got to find <laughs> Guys, that Guys, we got tasers. On my computer someplace. If you don't believe us, watch this radio <laughs> show. Wait, you can't watch it. Listen to this radio Yeah, we show. would have had that shit on YouTube. Holy if it was a thing. shit. 
Yeah, because like O and A, which is like the pinnacle, I think. Yeah, of- they did stunts too that nobody watched. I mean, no one watched Sex with Sam, if you think about it, the, right? Right. Like, That's the one. The one that got them fired. But then they record that. I thought it was recorded. I mean, no, they in were St. just Patrick's? on the. They were just on the air. They weren't like oh, right. videoing they it or anything. They called in. Yeah, yeah. It was Paul Mercurio, who I don't know where the hell that guy went, but he was. He's still around on the stand-up. phone. With O and A going like we're going into St. Patrick's Cathedral, and then he's like, "Oh, they're in the pew," or you know what I mean? Like it yeah. was. He was just narrating, just literally it. giving like play by play, and then the police came and like arrested the three of them, <laughs> and O and A were like on the air, and then they got fired or whatever. But we did a thing called um, kind of similar to that before the O. I think it was before. Or was it after? I can't remember. It would have been right. after because I wasn't th- I wasn't on the show, but the show did this and it was like lore and we knew we couldn't do it anymore. It was like right before I got there. Mm-hmm. They had Xbox for Xbox where you had to fuck your ex <gasps> to get an Xbox. So people would Hilarious. come in with their ex and stuff and uh, they we would let them fuck in our office. So one group <laughs> fucked in the GM's office and we almost got, they, the show almost got fired for that. I wasn't there yet, but. It was crazy. It's <laughs> pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I kind mean, of shit we used yeah. to do in the radio. Like, and it was like nothing. And then now it's like, if you even like think to do something like that, it's great. We used to do contests where like, I would put, like now they would. Yeah, I would put listeners' lives in danger half the time. Like, How? I had them swim one time. I I remember there was a, this is like so macabre, and I can't believe we did this. But like, <laughs> there was a there was a head found in the Niagara River. That's not macabre. That's hot. Like a head, like a fucking <laughs> yeah, I know. woman's head. A cerveza. So we uh or no 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 I'm sorry it was a body without a head. Oh shit! So it was a woman's body with no head. Because the Mexicans do the heads. So they I just uh, throw the heads. I took there's like a basin on the side of the um river where it's not like you know the river's like and then there's this little like base into the side where it's like still water and everything and i threw barbie parts like i ripped up a barbie <gasps> and i threw barbie parts into the um base the basin part and i threw one head and i go fine you got to find the head or whatever you know and that was the game <laughs> find the, the lady's head and so these guys are like swimming in the bay and it's like if it's one of them still, drown or something, know, you know, still, like, yeah, they they not they sign like a shitty waiver. That's There's not going to do current, anything. Right? Yeah, yeah. I could have been the thing. I could have been like the the we for we people where they they killed somebody and then it just what? shut the whole thing down. That was like a thing in Portland or Seattle. I want to. What's say. a we for we? What they did, and we played this game too. We played an iteration called Don't Break the Seal with coffee, but they did it with water. And uh, we for we was like they're not supposed to. They're supposed to drink water and not piss. So they were all standing in these oh, things. Don't break and the people the seal. who piss first lose. And the last person wins. You know, the person who can hold out the longest. And a woman poisoned herself by drinking too much water. And she <gasps> died, which everyone was like, that's a thing. But I mean, Yeah, it is. If you hold it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to let it out. But, exactly. Yeah. So a woman died from water poisoning. Oh, my God. It was crazy. We had one where, like, we did uh, Lick It for Tickets. Was the a, coffee a common... would make you shit yourself first, Yeah, the coffee was, like, yeah. a little easier to do because it's not just all water. <laughs> right. But li- more... we did a Lick It for Tickets thing, which was awesome because, like, Lick it for we brought tickets. that one back all the time. I forget whose brainchild that one was, but that was an ace. <laughs> lick it for tickets was like, so we'd have them lick like the urinal Your cake, oh. the, the toilet seat, like gross stuff. We So like one time yeah, we know. took, uh, we had the hottest hot sauce we could find, like okay. 400,000 Scovilles or some shit. And we put it on a paper plate and like spread it out. And we're like, you have to lick the plate clean. And they all went for it and did it. And then they were all like, I can't. and we had to call ambulances. For oh, them. it was, my that was the as closest we came to killing anybody, I think. Well, you can't die from that hot tub. I think it's just people panicking. Yeah, like, it was the panic and they breathe. can't breathe. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Because like I, I like to, I don't like hot stuff generally. Right. But then I'll have it and I'll be like, this is it. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> but it's like something most people would be like, that's not hot. That's, right. You're such a pussy. Yeah, but this was like basically this pepper like spray. Real. I mean, yeah. If like, oh, fuck. I mean, the, and I've gotten pepper sprayed. Yeah, this is like the units are so, it's like a novelty hot sauce. So, them licking this plate clean, they yeah. were like, oh, there were people crying and screaming, and we had to call an ambulance, and a couple people went in the ambulance. But um, what were they gonna win with this licking? I think it was like Motley Crue tickets, honestly, Hilarious. or Metallica or something. Like we did so many, and like I, I risk so many people's lives for minimal. I think one was like Bills Vikings tickets, and it was like the Bills were <gasps> shitty, and so were the Vikings. I mean, it wasn't. This is post OJ and yes, pre like during maybe post Jim Kelly. I mean, this yeah, is Jim like, Kelly. 
one but, moon, not even? Not no, no, I mean, this is... <laughs> this is bad. 2000s, J.P. Lossman time. <laughs> but yeah, it was we did all kinds of dumb shit. I think there was one for definitely Metallica tickets mm -hmm. called Nude with a Dude. Nude and a we dude. had two people get into a sleeping bag, two, two dudes get naked into a sleeping bag together. And then we'd make them like every segment like turn so like now they're face to face now they're <gasps> ass to face you know like oh my so they were in one sleeping God. bag and then we would do things like all right now we're gonna throw in some Guys, sex like, I'm toys hard. Hold yeah on a second. well that's how the guy got the other guy to lose he started beating off no. so the other guy freaked what? out he to get the other guy out of the how are you not in prison bag. for this like i don't understand this he started beating off so then that contest was like aces like it lasted it was like <laughs> it was aces i mean we had like time spent listening i mean it was a great sleeping contest. sleeping bags are everywhere this is so <laughs> yeah. fucking crazy so then we did Pride it again month. <laughs> this was only two dudes right so like we got two people to do it so you never got girls to do it because no that would have been awesome i don't yeah, know why we didn't everybody it was nude with a dude hard. not nude with a girl <laughs> got but it. um it doesn't rhyme. Nude, nude with, with a girl. girl. It yeah. doesn't rhyme. <laughs> but new, so we did it again, right? The second time. And people like had heard this contest. Yeah. Only one guy came to participate. So like Josh, like. You got to be. Either that or we don't have like a full eight o'clock hour. And I'm like, fuck. So I had so to go. So you had to be the. I had to be the other guy. And I had to, I was just like, I just told him, I'm like, just get me past like the nine o'clock uh, break and. You'll win, dude. <laughs> He's like, I just need to fill these segments. So, <laughs> oh my god, was the guy cool? Was he? Yeah, like, he was cool. Oh, I mean, yeah. he won. He knew he was gonna win, but it was just like then. I remember just like getting naked and getting into the sleeping bag in front of the other hosts, and they had to like turn their back. I'm like, <laughs> I felt like degraded. Yeah, it was of like, and I'm like also like borderline not a adult. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like 19 or something <gasps> like that. It was crazy. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. But this I was all about it. I was like, please. Coco and this is, fame. Just this is my thinking. segments. I have to make them good, you know? So. Oh, my God. It's your segment. You're like, yeah. I got to make this work, <laughs> yeah. man. All yeah. right. Here Otherwise, I, I got nothing. Let me get my hairy ass on this guy's fucking yeah. face. Exactly. That's amazing. Did the guy get hard? No, no. That one, it was pretty mundane, the ours. But yeah, the other guy, I don't even know if he got hard. He just started jerking off. And the other guy was like, I can't do this. He was like, he just jumped up and got up. Because all of a sudden he just jumped up and we're like, whoa, what happened? What happened? And he was like, he's beating off. Like he started freaking out on the fucking. It was so funny. Today I saw this uh, a video. I don't know if it was TikTok or Instagram. I forget which one. But it was like just a little clip thing. And this guy in like a Dollar Tree was jerking off oh. and like ejaculated on this girl's leg. Oh, in Philly, you're yeah, talking of about. Course. Oh my god, I got of that. Of course, art. it was Philly. I have a segment of my pod podcast where we discuss semen terrorism, <laughs> and uh, oh, I now can't you got tell a you. South Philly victim, dude. Or, uh, I got literally 100 people emailed me that article today about that. She chased him. For, yes, like you do not do that shit in not South in Philly. Philadelphia. You will fucking. Die, bitch. Yeah. They will find that guy. I've never had so many people email me. That is so. I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if somebody sent it to me or I just caught it. You know what I mean? Because a lot all of times Twitter. people. Oh, maybe. Yeah, on maybe on my Twitter because people, like I said, send it to me. My it's replies so are littered with that. Thing. And she's like, "He came on my leg." Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's wild. There's oh, plenty so of. of I mean, I get South videos Philly like that too. all the time, and we talk about them all the time. But this one is like, for some reason. He was a big guy. It was it, this one went like viral, so it's exciting. Yeah, so I can't wait to next week. Tune in. Ejaculate it. <laughs> wait, what do you call it? Ej Semen terrorism. Semen terrorism. <laughs> it's actually an actual crime in Japan. And really? I, and I was like, well, we have plenty of semen terrorism here in our own domestically yeah. in and the United States. And they don't press States. charges. I know it's not it's not uh but if that bitch technically a him. sex crime yet here. It's a, just what? an assault. It's not necessarily a oh. sexual one yet. My uh, my favorite was the one at the concert because the they, I don't know if you remember which one I don't, I don't know there's so, so many it was, it was one at a concert and the, these these girls are hanging out at the concert and then all of a sudden it was like she which like concert? Fe felt it like hit the back of <gasps> back of her leg or something. oh that's no. right yes. and, and, it, and it was like how do you how do you make that happen in such a public it's crazy. Some of these guys are form like that. Like who was the concert? Do you remember? I don't remember. Some of these guys just pop off. Yeah, it was like a weird like. It's like a Taylor one. Swift, and you're like, like no, it was like coming? a. It was like a Glastonbury like yeah, style was like, like a festival, techno oh, okay. or EDM kind of thing. Oh, but like that would make sense. Yeah. The EDM because everybody's on such fucking 
uh, mushrooms yeah, but and I whatever. Can't, I can't beat off on mushrooms. And then also, like— I've never done mushrooms. I can't, I can like, beat off Not anywhere. only can I beat off, not beat off on mushrooms, but, like, publicly and then, like, to rip a clip, like— in public that fast Hold on. is so who, wild. Who ripped the clip? Like the guy did the it? The guy, yeah, the guy jerking oh, off. He jizzed he onto it? the leg of the girl or whatever, you know? Oh, because the, the, the one I watched today, you didn't see what right. You just saw her chase. He just came on my right, leg. Right, right. You didn't like, see it in this. It was just, it was reported. She was like, she was like, uh, and then all of a sudden she like, right. oh he's my saying God. rip a clip is, is jizzing on is the guy. Jizzing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Not recording a clip. In my brain, I went to the cliff. Like, yeah. oh, he's, you thought, he's like, recording, like, uh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I meant like. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, who records these? How do you see them? Just other people? Some of them you don't see. They're just articles or whatever. Like, it, the woman reported. Police reports. Yeah. Police, oh, the police say the it. woman re reported that she was jizzed upon or whatever. <laughs> you know, <I> don't know. <laughs> jizzed upon. <laughs> yeah. That sounds actually kind of nice. <laughs> jizzed upon. I'd yeah. like to be jizzed upon. Some people I would was... like that here and there. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, I forget what we were talking about, but like, someone was saying that they were like, bullied in high school. Oh, it was Jessica Michelle. She was like, yeah, a guy spit on me. And I was like, that could be good in a different context, right? Like, oh, it's fuck. hilarious to think about that. Like, <clears throat> spitting on somebody has changed in many I don't, ways. yeah. It's, I've seen it uh, both ways, yeah. if you will. Um, I mean, maybe there's more than two You've ways. You've experienced both yeah. contexts. Yes. And uh, the one was obviously on a TV show, like a that was a sexual, yeah. thing, you know, and then the other was like, I don't like if you're arguing with somebody and you get to the point where you spit on them, that's, yeah, that's grounds crazy. for killing. That's like, an assault. Yeah. But you could just slaughter that person. I watched it happen right here in the hallway and I was like, oh, I'm just going to let this person go because that other person should die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll <laughs> if you if you get spit on that, you have full right to like beat the shit out of that person. Yeah. But also like. Instead, girl that dating, person ran away, and I was like, oh. A girl I was dating was really into, she's like, open your mouth, and then she'd be like, oh, and I'd be like, oh my God. And I'd just be like, well, whatever she wants, you know, I don't care. But like, um, <laughs> Josh, but I said, is, so is that assault? Should I, I was like, is that assault? I Should know. I press charges yeah, yeah, as yeah. his mouth's open? She would get real drunk and be like, let me spit in your mouth. That's, like, And not even during sex. This would be like at a bar. That's a... <laughs> That's a Dom Barris bit, so yeah. it's definitely no, assault. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, but, oh, my God. Ew. Yeah, it was weird, but I was like, whatever. She's hot. So. Yeah, you're like, well, she's letting me see her titties. So <laughs> yeah, she's hot. And I'm let her spit get to have sex forever. Her, so. She's like yeah, spitting uh, in your eye. You're like, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me feel that again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get little windshield wipers on your glasses. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Yeah, she better have good aim. Be <laughs> That's crazy crazy though like just the <laughs> spitting i don't know that's not my i have a lot of fetish yeah it's not that's mine not either up but there like i said i'm more accommodating than most I well suppose. of course because if someone's yeah, letting let us do something fun we yeah. do tend to say you know what i'd rather be the receiver than the giver of it no i'm gonna go the i know other why way. you're saying that but yes. i just couldn't bring myself to be like Listen, if you drank and... out of this right now, I yeah. wouldn't drink it again. I know, you I know. understand? Yeah, yeah. And then not just because of you. If my mother no, of course, did it, of course, I of wouldn't course. drink. I don't know what's wrong with me. Of course. But I have that mental illness. No, mine is like, a girl can basically just do whatever she wants, but also I wouldn't want her to be judging mine. I don't know. I'm oh. Like, <laughs> she's like, you didn't do it right or you something. Don't, you I didn't don't. spit probably. I didn't feel yeah. that on my tonsils, it wasn't you piece of shit. spit or foam yeah. or something. <laughs> You don't spit hard enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to be judged any more than I already <laughs> am. <laughs> you get judged a lot. Sometimes. Are you still doing your podcast? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, I, I, I love that. <laughs> totally What'd you say? I was like, unfortunate. But no, I'm, I'm happy to be doing no, it. No, it's a great podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had a lot of fun on of it. Of course. But uh, I forgot the name of it. It's don't just the Josh me. Potter show. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay, good. Because in my head, I was going to say Josh Potter, but I thought there yeah, was something yeah. after it. No, no, no. It's just the Josh Potter show. And where do people see that? I don't even know. Oh, it's on YouTube every Wednesday. It comes out. Every Wednesday. Yep, we're talking about YouTube. The Josh Potter Show is the channel, so. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, and now, uh, what else do you have going on? Are you doing a special? Oh, I'm doing the road all the time. I'd like to tape something soon. I had some things in the works that kind of like got, keep getting kicked down the road. So we'll see if I can um, do you still hustle tour? it up anymore. 
Do you still tour with Tom? I do hear. I mean, from time to time, I'm doing a show with him on Friday. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to do the road as much on my own as I can these days. Of course. So I'm. I've been doing that quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to Dallas, and then I got a whole bunch of August dates and a whole bunch of September. So are you doing House of Comedy? No, I'm doing the Dallas Comedy Club. I guess. Uh, Oh, okay. But then in uh, I'm going to. Omaha, fucking Des Moines, Boston. Awesome. Long Island, uh, Maine, a whole bunch of places. So. Long Island governors? Yes. Yes. I'm doing governors. TheJoshPotter.com is where you can. Please check them out. And if Long Island, my Long Island folks, go see them. Yeah. Governors is great. I love, I've been there in the middle, so I'm excited to. Okay. Yeah. James is one of my other favorite characters Hell yeah. in the world. It's just the owner. Yeah. I feel like I vibe well with that kind of thing. So I'm excited to go there. 100%. Coming from Buffalo, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch You're of You're a New Yorker, but yeah. kind of. <laughs> eh, I mean, we don't really. They don't claim us, and we don't really claim them. Yeah, <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, it's so it, it's almost like Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. Right. Like we're like, oh yeah, yeah. Like if you say Pittsburgh to somebody from Philadelphia, they'll be like, it's not here. Yeah, it couldn't but be it's further Pennsylvania, away. Pennsylvania, they're like, oh, like they don't know. Yeah, Philadelphia's somebody from in Pennsylvania. Seattle will be like, isn't that the same thing? And it's like, no. <laughs> like even I forget. Like Hormos here at the comedy store was like. Couldn't you, when you're in Buffalo, can't you just drive to New York? And I'm like, no. Isn't it like six it's hours? eight hours away. Eight? Yeah, yeah. It's Jesus. an hour long flight. So What I didn't know is Albany or, yeah, was it Albany or Rochester? Not Rochester. Rochester's right above Buffalo. It's like an hour. So Rochester's far too. No, but- not Buff- Rochester and Buffalo are close to each other. Albany oh. is all the way over by New York State. So, or city, I mean. But one of them was like two and a half hours from New York City. Albany. I think it was Albany. Yeah, Albany's the one Because this closer. girl was like, oh, it's only a two and a half hour ride. She was telling me about these gigs. And I was like, oh. But in my head, my friend's from Rochester. And I'm right. thinking of Buffalo. And I'm like, isn't that No, those two, far? Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, like, are all like within each other, like within three hours. And then on the other side, you got Albany. Yeah. And then New York City and like Poughkeepsie and all that Poughkeepsie. shit. Poughkeepsie. Yeah. Have you played that club? That's a fun club. No, but uh, what's that? Laugh It Up? or uh, I, th- I forget the name of it. Something like that. Something they just like hit that, me yeah. up and I was supposed to do it with Dice and then it got canceled and it became like a little bit of a controversy. Oh. And um, it was kind of silly because it was a lot of he said, she said, but mm. I was on the Dice side and watched it all unfold and it was nothing they said it was <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, uh, okay. That's wild. Um, it's so funny, but whatever. And then we never did it, but then somebody hit me up, so I have to reach out. Yeah, I mean, it's like a... But they totally pretty, hit me up. It's yeah, like it's, an upstairs of a restaurant. It's pretty... But people say it's really good. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, and it's, it's a like, fun club. It's one of those gigs where it's like one of those old school... And it's you feel like you're in a, fire it's a great hall. name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was Poughkeepsie, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I want to say it like that. Poughkeepsie. I just think of, um, what the fuck, that movie. Shit. It's the French Connection when he's oh. like, you're picking your feet in Poughkeepsie. Hilarious. Yeah, that's all I think about. That's a great name. Picking your feet in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> um, all right. Well, th- Josh, you're amazing. What is, did we do enough time? Yeah, yeah, we're good. I don't even know where we're at. We're great. I just love talking to Josh. Hell yeah. We're perfect. Whatever okay. you guys want to do. Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah. So, yeah, check out his website. And yeah, thejoshpotter.com. And your podcast, which is yes. really good. You can get to it from my website as well. There you go. You're all hooked up, my friend. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> I got all the websites. Thank you so much for listening. Like, subscribe, all that shit. Check out my special, as always, uh, No Country for Old Women on the Comedy Store YouTube channel. Thank you. We'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be back at the end of August. Josh is radio, so maybe he could say it. I'll say it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and that'd be great if I just make you do our commercials. Like, hey, we're going to- Ladies gonna and t- gentlemen, Eleanor is going to be gone for a couple of weeks, I'm afraid, here at the Comedy Store Studios. A two-week hiatus occurring due to scheduling, but she will be back at the end of August. So yes. sit tight, and we'll be back with more Comedy Store podcast episodes. Thank you, Josh Potter. <laughs> I think we are going to take a little break here at the World Famous Comedy Store from the podcast because Eleanor needs a rest. It's mental illness, and she's she's got to lay down for a while. Uh, yeah, so we might take a two week break and uh, thank you, Josh Potter, for thank that. You. And um, again, like, subscribe, do all that shit. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs>